Check out these rat droppings on my car engine cover. Look at these stains. It looks so sick. Did you know you can die from lung infection by just inhaling these rat droppings? They carry a lot of bacteria, viruses, and parasites that can kill you if you're not careful. And if they get into your car engine bay, all hell break loose because they can eat away all your wirings. And that's gonna cost you dearly. A couple years ago, I did a video showing you how to prevent rats to get into your car engine bay by using perfume. It worked. I've been rat free for the entire time for almost two years until now. The reason? I run out of perfume. I also tried other brands, but I also exhausted that out too. Now I'm perfume free and the rats come back to visit me. Does it ram like a rap song or something? Now I'm perfume free and the rats come back to visit me. Now I'm perfume free and the rats come back to visit me. Anyway, clearly this works, but it's not sustainable. I don't want to spend any more money on perfume, so let me show you another way to prevent rat infestation for free. Well, almost. It's actually not easy to stop rats from coming into your car engine bay, especially in the winter. This place is warm, it's protected from the elements and predators, so it's perfectly safe for the rats. But because it gets extremely hot when you drive your car, it also has lots of vibrations. It's not easy to put anything in here that can stop the rats from coming in. Or is it? If you notice on my engine bay, the rats only come on to the top of the plastic cover. They also stay a little bit on the right side. We know this because they deposit poops everywhere they go. So basically, they only prefer to stay on flat surfaces. So if you can find a way to make these surfaces uncomfortable enough, then they will not want to come. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to take a metal chicken wire fence I bought from Home Depot, and I'm going to cut it and bend it upward. I'm cutting it at an angle to create a point at the end to make it as pointy and sharp as possible. That way it will be like a minefield, but instead of having explosive, we have some very sharp and pointy needles pointing upward. If they walk on this, they will have hell of a struggle. It can cut and injure the rats if they're not careful. You have to cut it in a way that doesn't split the whole piece into smaller fragments. Alternate the cuts to every other connections on the chicken wire and make sure after you cut it, you still have one single piece. That way it will be easier for you to mount it onto the engine cover later on. After I got the whole piece completed, I'm gonna drill some holes on the cover and use galvanized steel wire to mount the chicken wires to the cover. You can also use zip ties, but make sure you get the metal one, not the plastic ones, because they will melt under the heat. And that's it. Just put the cover back on and you're pretty much done. So over here I've got my piece of chicken wire cut to size. This piece will fit right on top of my engine cover. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut and then bend this straight up. Like that, and then I'm gonna alternate the cut. And I'll leave this on. I'm gonna cut the next one. So when you cut this, don't just cut straight from the top. Cut this at an angle like this. You want this end to be as pointy and sharp as possible. And then bend it straight up. All right. So here it is, all complete. It does take me quite some time, it took me over an hour to finish. This is tedious work because I have to cut at the right spot or the whole piece is going to be damaged. But it looks good. I cut away this part on this side. This is where the oil cap goes. This is a combination of bubonic plague, Ebola, SARS, and coronavirus all combined in one pill. Right, so here it is, all nice and clean. What I'm going to do next is to drill some holes on the panel here and so that I can use 
this galvanized steel wire to mount my spikes on. All right, so here is what it looks like all completed. So I got the hole here on the left for the oil cap so I can still change my oil. And when I'm done, just close it back down. So I can still close the hood just fine. The spikes are short enough and they don't touch the top part of the hood when they close it. Here's another place that used to be frequently visited by the rats out in my backyard. We have a small gas stove to cook outside. The rats used to climb up here and patrol my stove every night looking for a meal. When they come, you know because they always leave behind evidence. Rat droppings. Until I met this pointy chicken wire and put it on top of the stove, and since then, they stopped coming. So there you have it. This is a very simple, cheap and effective way to prevent the rats from coming into your car. I'll come back and update with you after a few months to see if I still have any rats. I doubt it though. I'll put in my comment section below and pin it right on the top so everyone can see it. Alright, that's all for now. Until next time, thanks for watching.